So this is the Samsung Galaxy M10 and we are going to first time boot this device and basically set up this device. So let's go ahead and boot this device for the first time on this channel. So this is the Galaxy M10. It is directly competing with the Realme C1. So I have made a video about that and soon we will be making a comparison video about the Samsung Galaxy M10 as well as the Realme C1. So stick around, stay subscribed if you are new and don't forget to hit that like button and do share it with your friends. So this is the boot up screen that you will see. So here's starting Android screen. Now this is the first screen that you are going to see when you turn on the device. Let's tap on the start now right away. You can also select the language. So if you want the entire user interface to be in your language then you can right away go ahead and select whatever language you want. So there are regional languages at the end of this palette. So here's the regional languages. For the demonstration purpose I will just use the default English United Kingdom. So let's go ahead and tap on the start. Now this is the time to insert the SIM card which is located here. Just use the SIM card tray provided in the box to just tap in there and remove the card slot and insert your SIM again. You can insert it back so you will get the signal right over here as you insert the SIM card. So once you have done that it is time to connect to the Wi-Fi. So if you have got internet connectivity at your home you can right away connect over here. So I suggest I recommend you that if you have the internet connection right away go ahead and connect. If you don't have the internet connection you can later do it as well. So that's why that's what I'm going to do. Just tap on next. It's basically skipping that step. Now you have to agree to the user's license agreement. You can also agree to provide diagnostic data meaning that they will be collecting some data from your mobile without informing you. So for the improvement purpose like updating the software and so on. So if you want to enable you can enable otherwise you can always disable. You can enable this one for marketing information otherwise you can just tap on next. Just a second you have to name your device. So let's go ahead and name the device. Uh, I'll name it as Vikik. You can name whatever you want. Just make sure to remember your device name. That's it. So let's go ahead and say next. Now here you can set up your face recognition, set up pin pattern or password. Otherwise you can always later set it up. So depending on your preference you can do that. Let's set up the face recognition right now. So once you tap on next you will have this set up face recognition security. So you have to set a screen lock for that either you set pattern pin or password. So let's set the pattern one require pattern when device powers on that means when you switch off the device again turn it back on it will ask you for the pattern to just go ahead with the step. If you don't want to do that do not require this is what you can tap. So it all depends on your personal preference. Let's set up a simple pattern you can always set up your own customized complex pattern so that others don't find it easy to unlock your device. Now this is confirmed after that agree let's say continue. Now are you wearing glasses right now? No. So if you are wearing glasses just tap on yes registering the face. Voila. So it took a quite a bit of time as compared to other devices. Other devices recognize it very quickly and set it up very quickly but this one took quite a bit of time. Anyways it recognized the face and faster recognition you can turn this on to instantly recognize your face. Then tap on next after that protect your phone ok tap on next. Here's the Google services. Now if you want Google to collect your information to improve uh, software updates and such things you can enable this one enable location enable improve location accuracy otherwise you can always disable this and later also you can enable. It just consumes a battery if you keep enabling all these things. So just disable all this and then tap on more and then accept. So after you accept here's the Samsung account. So if you have got Samsung account you can right away sign in over here if you have connected to the internet otherwise what you can do is you can create an account. If you think that there is no internet right over I just want to set up my device and start using it just tap on this little arrow here and after you have tapped on that just say skip. So again you have to tap on skip. So check out useful features right away you can read extend your battery life how you can extend your battery life the feature is turned on it just gives you some suggestions you can just tap on I agree which is already tapped again just tap on finish. Now this was it it was really easy to set up the Samsung Galaxy M10 as you saw this is the 
beautiful looking home screen of the Samsung Galaxy M9. I really love the wallpaper here, how it actually goes well with this phone, the notch and everything looks just beautiful as you can see on the screen itself. This is the basic setup of the Samsung Galaxy M10. We shall move to the camera and see what's available here because there are two cameras here. One is the wide angle, the other one is the normal, usually what you get with other branded phones. So here's where you can change the different perspective. Boom, super wide angle. So again, there is no autofocus here for super wide angle camera. As you can see, no tap to focus. But if I switch to the normal wide angle, you have the autofocus. Now quite a bit of hunting is going on here due to different lighting condition. So here are the different modes. As you can see, continuous shot, stickers, auto, live focus, beauty. There is also pro mode, cool. So let's switch to the pro mode and see what's available. ISO setting, white balance, as well as exposure value. So these three settings, I'll be making an in-depth review of the camera settings. So hit that like button if you want to see the camera review of this Samsung Galaxy M10. So this was the camera and let's quickly move to the settings and see what's running inside here. Let's go to the about phone. So here's the phone's name, other information, and let's move to the software information. Android version 8.1.0, Samsung Experience version 9.5. So that's about it. So guys, this was just a brief video on setting up your phone for the first time. If this video helped you, hit that like button, do share it with your friends. More videos coming soon on Big Geek, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel. All right, see you all in another one.